22 people are fighting for their lives after they were caught up in a deadly stampede Sunday night at a rap concert in Rochester, New York. Just after 11 p.m. as the show ended, concert goers began heading toward the exits to leave. As people began to exit, the crowd began to surge and rush toward the exit. There are some reports that shots were heard causing the crowd to panic, but that has not been confirmed. Oh my God! Oh my God! Police said today they found no evidence of a shooting inside the concert. This is a story of music, America, and its problem with gun culture. David, why are you supporting the red flag laws? If there had been, if Scott Peterson, the resource officer at Parkland, had done his job, then Nicholas Cruz wouldn't have killed anybody in your high school, or at least protected them. He's got nothing to say. As Republican leaders like conspiracy theorist Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene want to loosen gun laws. Look, I'm Gen Z, but I also believe that we are the mass shooting generation. Gen Z Congressman Maxwell Frost sums it up perfectly. There is nonstop fear in this country because of the amount of firearms and the enablement by one side. To see these images on what should be a fun night of music is so deeply American, it's almost as if it should include a hot dog and stripping voting rights. The second person has died after a crowd stampede at Sunday's Glorilla and Finesse Two Times concert in Rochester, New York. Audience members had rushed for the Main Street Armory's exits because of unfounded fears of gunfire. This is not normal. It does not have to be normal. We do not have to plan our exits in grocery stores. We should not always be looking over our shoulders in a CVS. From peewee football to concert halls, none of this should be happening. In Rochester, the artist's name is Glorilla. A 23-year-old rapper from Memphis, Tennessee, seen here. She'd tweet, I am devastated and heartbroken over the tragic deaths that happened after Sunday's show. My fans mean the world to me, praying for their families and for a speedy recovery of everyone affected. The New York Times would report two concert goers would pass away. One woman was rushed to the hospital. She's in critical condition. Seven more went to the hospital. The local chief of police said the injuries were caused by trampling. News 10, an NBC affiliate, had interviewed those who survived. Quote, me and the girl next to me were climbing on each other, trying to get each other up, Ikea Hayes said outside the armory Monday afternoon. How did you get up when you were on the floor? Her friend asked her. Somebody helped you up or you just got up? Me and the girl lying next to us, we were like climbing up on each other, Hayes answered. Rochester police said audience members ran in a panic when they thought they heard gunfire inside the venue around 10.30 p. Sunday. Police said there was no evidence in support reporting of those gunshots. None of the victims' injuries were consistent with the person being shot, police said. As we have shown previously via BBC News, the top 10 civilian gun-owning countries, estimated number of firearms per 100 residents, that's the U.S. at the top. We always rank at the top. It is an issue. It is a problem that needs to be addressed and yet isn't. The reporter would ask one concert goer, when you were on the ground, do you recall what you were thinking, what you were feeling? They responded, my life was over. I was watching the life flash before my eyes and I still didn't know what was going on. So it's like, not only am I on the ground scared, praying, like you got to get up, you got to move. If you stay here, they're going to keep running you over. So you got to get up, you got to move. The stampede in Rochester called to mind a similar tragedy in 2021 when a crowd surge at the Astro World Festival in Houston killed 10 people and injured scores more, leading to a string of lawsuits and a congressional investigation.